this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is a prophecy for Renee uh, Tucker and uh, I pray that uh, this will bless you. I, I, um, I will just uh, dedicate this time to the Lord. So Lord, uh, I ask that uh, you give me the words for Renee Tucker and uh, you give me uh, the understanding and you give me um, the encouragement and the words that will be needed to uplift her and uh, move her on and encourage her into greater things. Uh, I pray all this in your name. Amen. I see, um, first of all, uh, before I stop praying, I could see a star and um, it says uh, in Daniel, um, at the end of Daniel, uh, I'll, I'll turn to it um, and have, have, have a look. Um, 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 uh, I'm, I'm not sure where it, uh, it says, um, uh, oh yeah, those are the wise will shine bright as the sky and those who lead many to righteousness will shine like stars forever. Um, I feel that uh, that uh, description of you is um, is applicable. Um, I feel that uh, you've got um, because of that verse. I feel that it's uh, uh, evangelistic sort of output. I, I think there's certain things that uh, you're going to do uh, in this world that's going to lead uh, many people uh, to uh, a, a relationship with Jesus. And even if that's uh, planting seeds in people's lives and uh, being a, an encouraging person uh, in people's uh, lives that aren't Christians, uh, I, I feel that really strongly. I saw that star and I feel really strongly that your life is going to be used to uh, lead many to uh, righteousness. I'm not sure uh, what you said um, in uh, your um, thing. You said uh, uh, we shared, uh, had prophecy done, but uh, your yeah, prayer warrior and team leadership are serving a nursery and pursue street ministry. Yeah, see, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing this evangelistic uh, um, output that you have in your life. So uh, when you interact with people on the streets, uh, it's important to leave a seed of, of, of the gospel in each person. They don't have to make a commitment under place, but they can move on further in life and make a commitment. And uh, I, I feel that you've, uh, like I said, that you've got this evangelistic sort of output in your life and uh, gifting in your life. And I feel uh, the, the um, I just blow uh, the Holy Spirit. I just blow and breathe over that uh, 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 gifting of the Lord that uh, you you move in prophecy that uh, you start to move prophetically and you start to move more evangelistically and uh, and that that I blow the Holy Spirit over you that uh, his presence and his dynamic uh, relationship and his dynamic uh, things he has to say will be uh, evidence through you that uh, more of the Holy Spirit will take hold of you and uh, capture your intellect and capture your mind and speak through you with power. Um, Paul said uh, he, he uh, didn't have a demonstration of crafty words, but he had a demonstration of power. And I, I pray and I breathe the power gives him to you that uh, you can move not only prophetically with people on the street, but uh, you can move in the power gifts of healing and uh, minister to people. Um, I pray uh, uh, over you and I release over you uh, more and abundance and more than you can ever expect or uh, imagine. Uh, a demonstration of power and glory uh, coming through your life. And I, I breathe that over you and release that over you that uh, even uh, the next time you go out that you'll see the effect of the Holy Spirit moving powerfully in your life. Um, so, 
that's uh, one thing uh, that uh, we've concentrated, uh, concentrated on. Um, consecrated is a good word. Um, I feel also that um, you're a, a person who's fairly deep and uh, you look into things uh, in a deep way and uh, in a um, conse consecrated way. Uh, you look into, that, that word's come up uh, tr twice, so I was, was going to use the word concentration. Um, it, it looks like uh, the Lord is uh, moving me to talk about consecrated. I, I feel that uh, you've got a calling to move people and encourage people into a lifestyle of holiness, into a lifestyle uh, that's consecrated to the Lord. Uh, I feel that uh, you're called uh, to encourage people to uh, be set apart and uh, be wholly consecrated to the Lord. So um, I'll, I'll just uh, encourage you in that. Uh, that uh, That's uh, one of your missional, uh, that's uh, one of your missional uh, uh, goals. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, the Lord is really focusing in and he even allowed the Holy Spirit to take uh, charge of my mouth and use that word twice just to uh, get that part of the prophecy out. So what I was saying before that uh, word came out was that uh, you're very deep and uh, you look into things uh, deeply and uh, you uh, really uh, search things out for yourself and uh, when uh, you're interested in something you go into a lot of study and uh, personal study and personal reflection and, and you look at things uh, from every different angle and you really try and answer your own questions and this is uh, all, these these are all the characteristics of a teacher, uh, someone who's going to teach uh, the word of God, and someone who's going to teach people things. Uh, they look into things really deeply and explore things really deeply, and have always got uh, research going on. Have always got uh, subjects that they're trying to find out more about, and sometimes they actively pursue it. Sometimes they wait for the Holy Spirit to uh, enable them and uh, and teach them uh, in the timing that he allows but whatever the task whatever the way uh, that that happens uh, people who are teachers uh, come out with uh, amazing things and uh, are gifted uh, in teaching the body of Christ uh, certain things. So I feel that uh, you've got a calling uh, to teach whether you did that in blog posts, uh, whether you start to write books or you start to make YouTube videos. I feel that uh, you've got a real calling to teach. Uh, uh, I'd be interested uh, in hearing uh, you teach. Uh, I'd be interested in a video and listening to a video of you're teaching something um, and uh, that's just a calling that you've got. So you got this evangelistic calling, you've got this prophetic calling, you've got this teaching calling and uh, normally when you've got three or four of uh, the things it means that you're apostolic and um, you may have heard that uh, from people uh, before that you've got an apostolic calling and uh, it's not an easy thing to prophesy, it's not, uh, it's comes with a lot of weight, that word, and uh, it uh, comes with a lot of responsibility. Uh, but uh, when you can move in every gifting, uh, you probably can move in pastoral too. Uh, when you can move in every office, that means you're apostolic. Uh, it may not mean that you're an apostle, but uh, you're certainly called in an apostolic way. And uh, so I feel that that's over your life. Uh, I feel that um, Psalm um, 1... Uh, verse 1 to 3 is over your life and um, I'll just turn to that uh, so you can see what uh, I mean. You probably actually even know uh, what it says uh, because it's so much part of your life. Um, but uh, Psalm uh, verse 3 uh, uh, says, um, They will be like trees along the river bank bearing fruit each season. Their leaves will never wither 
and they prosper in all they do. Um, I, I feel uh, that uh, this explains you, that this, uh, that verse, Psalm 1 verse 3, explains you that you've got this uh, favour on your life. Uh, you've got what I call the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. And uh, you know the story of King Midas that everything he touched turned to gold. And I, I feel that uh, you've got this favor on your life, uh, that God has favored you with men and has favored you in such a way that everything you touch turns to gold. Uh, I, I see this bright future over you. I see this anointed future over you. I see you um, not only uh, growing in your gifts and able to heal and able to preach with power and able to demonstrate things like Paul with the power of signs and wonders, but I also see you mentoring uh, people and encouraging people and training the next generation. Your teaching gift, uh, not only combined with power, but your teaching gift, teaching people how to move in what you're moving. So. First, you'll start to move in things yourself and move powerfully and start to demonstrate things powerfully of the kingdom. And then you'll have uh, students and other people uh, that you're dealing with that you'll uh, encourage and mentor and, and train into doing what you're doing. And uh, so I pray that uh, that has been a blessing to you. Um, I, I ask you, could you uh, take some time and listen to this again, take some notes and write some feedback under uh, what uh, is, um, is uh, where this is posted on uh, Christian Leadership Personal Prophecy Group. Uh, if you could... Uh, uh, take some notes and uh, write me some feedback. That will encourage me and it will encourage the other people who come to the page. God bless.